we all know that the Quen team recently came out with a groundbreaking open source model with the release of Quen 3. Quen 3 is the latest generation of LLMs from the Quen family, designed to rival up against top tier performing models like DeepSeek R1, O1, Grok 3, and Gemini 2.5 Pro. It features a powerful lineup of both dense and mixture of expert models, including the flagship Quen 3 235 billion A22B, which is a 235 billion parameter model with 22 billion active parameters, and the compact yet powerful Quen 3 30B parameter model is something that was also released aside with this bigger model. These two models shine across benchmarks in coding, math, and general reasoning. And just a few days ago, the Quen team introduced something even more exciting, a new ultimate tool for building apps powered by the Quen 3 models. And this is something that is completely free. Allow me to introduce WebDev. WebDev is a brand new full stack development tool created by the Quen team. It's a powerful free alternative to tools like uh, Lovable as well as V0. It's capable of building stunning front ends, web pages, and full on applications all through natural language prompts in QuenChat. For example, take a look at this demo where it was requested to create a Twitter website, which is a clone of the x.com website, and it was able to instantly code everything, such as all the components quite quickly. And you can see that it was able to style the UI components, even help you with backend scaffolding. So this is something that will make full stack apps for you on the web completely for free, powered by the new Quen3 model. You can easily get started by going over to Quen Chat. I'll leave a link to this in the description below. You'll just need to simply create an account completely for free with the Google or with your email address. Now, what you can do is you can then select web dev and you can then request it to build anything. Like in this case, I can ask it, create a powerful website for a software engineer, including sections such as a personal introduction, education back background, as well as project experience. So you can see right away on the left hand side, you'll see all the code being written by this powerful gigantic model and on the right hand side you'll get a visualization of what it had created and there we go we now have our website fully generated with the help of the coin 3 model and you can see that it looks really awesome you have all the components that we had requested generated and this is the capability of the web dev agent. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Now guys, what I had generated wasn't with the thinking mode even enabled. This is a new feature that was introduced with the release of the Quen3 model. It's a hybrid approach to problem solving. Essentially, this is a hybrid thinking mode that you can enable with these new Quen3 models. It's gonna get the model to think a bit more where it takes more time to reason step by step before delivering the final answer. This is ideal for complex problems that require deeper thought. So essentially, it is a research mode that will take more time, use more agents, to work on generating your answer that is going to be using more uh, in-depth knowledge more in-depth resources to get the answer that you're looking for so if we are to actually enable this we're going to get more thought put answers generated and what you can also do is that if you click on this drop down menu you can actually control the maximum length of thinking so you can actually set the amount of tokens it will use for this generation so let's test out the thinking mode now this is where i wanted to create a dashboard that outputs a list of my videos showcases the most trending videos and it also educates viewers on what my channel is about as well as my consulting services so let's see what this is uh, capable of generating i am using the max token budget so um, i'm definitely interested to see how well it is in terms of taking multiple requests that i had placed within my prompt and I want to see how well the model is in actually accomplishing all of those different tasks. And there we go. Finally, it took approximately four minutes to get this generation. And you can see that it is a world of AI dashboard that talks about my channel. There's a couple of placeholders. Now, it looks like it didn't scrape the contents from my channel, which is fine. 
but I can go back into the web dev and request it to add a couple of links. But you can see there is the recent uploads, the newsletter, quick links to my channel. And it was able to talk about what my channel is about, the about us page. We have the services that we provide, the consultant services, which is something that I had requested. I had asked it to uh, talk about the services that we provide and you can see that it does a great job in creating this small little memo talking about our services and then there's also a contact us page so overall it did get the base structure right but now i'm gonna actually try on iterating on this further adding a couple of links to my channel uh, for from my videos and pasting it within this dashboard and there we go we now have the integration of our latest videos now integrated within this dashboard and I was able to do it quite quickly while keeping the same styling and format. And you can see it also added the placeholder within the recent upload section. And this is why I believe this web dev is a great free alternative to many of these full stack development tools that we've seen on this channel. Personally, what I found was that if you are to enable the thinking mode, it is something that you would use for multiple tasks within a single shot prompt that you're sending in within the web dev agent. But if you're going ahead and sending something pretty simple like creating this contact support form you don't need to enable thinking because if you do it's going to just use up a lot more tokens i mean it doesn't matter because it's free but it's going to waste your time i would say because it would take longer to generate the thing that you're requesting it to actually work on so i recommend that you don't even turn it on if it's a super simple prompt like creating a basic front end for like a contact support form or like a web page but if you're working on generating multiple detailed tasks within this Quen chat, then you would want to enable the thinking mode. And just like that, within like 30 seconds, I got this contact form fully generated without even enabling the thinking mode. So you can see that you still get great responses generated even without the thinking mode. Now with a single prompt, I was able to create a Google clone and you can see the exact replication that you would get from using this model versus many of the other models that we've seen. Now, another feature is that you can easily upload documents as well. You can upload images, videos, as well as audio to incorporate within any sort of app that you develop within the coder. Or you can consider joining our private Discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. But that's basically it for today's video on the web dev agent. This is something that will easily help you rapidly build any sort of application within a couple of minutes. And the best part is it's completely free so you can easily get started right away. I'll leave all the links in the description below so that you can easily get started. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the newsletter. Follow me on the second channel, join our discord, follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notification bell, like this video and please take a look at our previous videos so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI videos that I'm posting on a daily basis. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.